So this actually turned out like 10 times better than I expected it to. <laughs> Chameleons, it's Camille and today I'm going to be attempting to do something for the first time ever so I have no idea if this is going to work or be a fail but either way you guys are along for the ride so today I am attempting to dye a ponytail green to match my hair this is the ponytail that I'm going to be attempting to dye it's called the Maya from the brand INH and it's platinum 26 inches and in synthetic hair and that's why it's really hard to work with and and I didn't know this before buying it, but synthetic hair is very difficult to dye compared to natural hair. Natural hair is just completely different. It's made to work with bleaches and dyes and all of that, but synthetic hair is just plastic. So you can't really dye it. It won't hold the color if you use semi-permanent hair dye on it. And trust me, I tried it. And you can't bleach it either. I was like, if I bleach it, maybe it will be porous enough to hold the dye and stain it. But no, that does not work. I saw a bunch of tutorials and the one that I think is most promising is using synthetic fabric dye. So that's what I'm gonna be trying on this. So my goal is to get this hair to match my green that I have in my hair right now. If you guys haven't already seen my hair tutorial on how I dyed my hair green, it's linked in the description box down below. And also this is not a good reflection of my hair dyeing skills. This is just because my hair has grown out. That's why I have roots. I promise I know how to dye my hair, but I just took too long to get to this ponytail that it grew out a little bit. So we're just gonna ignore that. I'm trying to get this ponytail to match my hair exactly, which is kind of hard because I can't just use the dye that I used on my head and I have to use synthetic fabric dye, which only come in like primary colors. So I picked these two up online. These are from RIT and they're the synthetic ones. They have some natural dyes that are for like cotton and linen and whatever, but these are for synthetic. Make sure that it says synthetic on the dye that you get because this will adhere to the plasticky texture of this in a way that the other kind won't. And the closest color I found was this green. It's in peacock green. And I guess this is like as close as I could get, but I wanted to make it a little bit more believable that this could be my hair if I'm gonna be wearing it. I want it to, to blend. <laughs> so I picked up daffodil yellow because the green has a little bit of a yellow warmer undertone. So I wanted to try putting a little bit of this in in case this isn't exactly like warm enough. So these are the only two colors I got. This better work, otherwise, otherwise nothing. I'm still posting this video. <laughs> The goal is for this to be green and then mounted on my head, mounted. Comment down below what it's called when you put a ponytail in your hair. But pretty much I want it to look like that and blend into my hair. By the way, I bought the lightest color this came in. This is platinum because if you get a dark one, obviously you're not gonna see the dye on top of it. Same way that you wouldn't if you're dyeing your hair. That's why I always bleach the life out of my hair so it looks like this and then I can put the dye on top. So same thing here, got the platinum. This is my first attempt at this method, so hopefully it works. So I started by filling up a large metal pot with some water and turned the stove all the way up on high heat to start boiling the water. Once it started bubbling, I turned the heat down to simmer and began adding the dye starting with the peacock green. I used measuring cups so I could remember exactly how much I added and the amount will depend on how much water you use, the desired color and the hair that you're using. I stirred the dye in and did a strand test where I dipped a tiny bit of the ends in to test out what the color would look like if I put it in at this point. It came out way too light, so I put in another quarter cup of the green, stirred that in and did another strand test, leaving it in for a little while longer so I could see how it looked after it was in the heat for a while and it was definitely still too light, so I added more green, did another strand test, and this is what it looked like, so I added the rest of the bottle and dipped the ends in for a little while and it came out darker than before. I figured that once I boiled the hair for a while it would soak up more of the dye, so I moved to adding the yellow undertone that's in the green dye I used in my hair, which was Cowabunga by Good Dye Young. I added a quarter cup of daffodil yellow synthetic dye, 
stirred that in and did another strand test, which came out much darker than before, which I was very happy with. The next part was a mistake and I fixed it in the end, but I'm gonna show you anyways what I did first. I added the ponytail to the pot, thinking that if I left it in there for a while that it would absorb more color and come out a bit darker. And it looked kind of good so far, so I let it sit in the heat for a few hours, then got distracted for like two days, but then poured the water out and <laughs> rinsed it and shampooed it to make sure all of the dye was out. And by the way, letting it sit in the water for the extra two days didn't make it any darker. That was just me not wanting to deal with it at the moment. But anyways, it got pretty tangled when I was stirring it. So I used a brush with plastic loops made for synthetic hair, which was a really good Amazon find. And I'll link it down below just in case you want to find it. And I detangled it using a spray bottle I have with a mix of water, conditioner, and like a tiny bit of oil that I normally use to refresh my hair. And tied it to my bathroom hand towel holder so it would be easier to hold when I brushed it out. And it was definitely not dark enough, so I bought another green dye as well as the graphite dye to make it darker and repeated the boiling process using less water this time so it would be less diluted. And I started by pouring in the full bottle of green, then I added a little bit of graphite at a time and did strand tests in between to check out how dark it would come out. And I ended up making the pot extremely dark because it would be added on top of the other dye on the ponytail. So I needed to make it a lot darker to correct since it would be absorbing less color this time. And I also used a paper towel to check how dark the mix was while adding the dye. Eventually, I was really happy with how the color came out. So I put the full ponytail in on low heat and then turned the stove off after 10 minutes and let it sit in the hot water for like an hour. In total, I ended up using about one third of the black dye in this mix. So this is the finished product. My hair looks like this. It blends really well with my dyed hair. I am extremely happy with this, especially considering that I didn't realize the difference between synthetic and real hair and that you can't just dye synthetic hair with regular hair dye so i feel like i did a really good job matching this to my dyed hair and if i were to do anything differently i would first know the difference between real hair and dyed hair and buy the right thing but also i really do like that i bought synthetic hair because i was able to experiment with dyes and also in general synthetic hair is cheaper and since I dye my hair all the time it's definitely more economical for me to know how to do synthetic hair and not have to buy real human hair every time so I really like that and I also like how well it came out like I'm just so proud of myself I give myself like an A++ on this also look at my makeup today because I'm so happy with it like I feel like this is the best makeup I've done in like three years so just look at it. <laughs> I hope I remember what I used today. Like all I feel like is like I am that girl. You just can't help but serve when you have long hair and I haven't really done anything with hair that's not mine before. So I'm really happy that I actually, look at me, I'm just so like, all I can do is flip my hair. Um, <laughs> but I am really happy with it. I'm really happy with how the color came out. If I was gonna do anything different, I would first know the difference between synthetic and real hair before I bought anything. And second, I would work with the undertones a little bit differently because the dye Cowabunga by Good Dye Young that I had in my hair is a little bit yellow toned, but then at the roots, I mixed that with None More Black, which is a blue toned black. So after shampooing my hair a lot and wearing it for a while, then it kind of bled into the rest of the hair. So instead of the dye being green with yellow undertones, it was like kind of bluer undertones and like it kind of just like mixed together so i would definitely have considered that before which is a good reason to have bought the black because it kind of helped with that but i would have considered that the first time i was dyeing it other than that i would have tried to make the mix perfect the first time i was dyeing it which didn't actually end up mattering really because the second time i dyed it i kind of overcompensated because i knew the first round was going to stick more than the second round so i should make it darker so 
I'm glad that I knew that and I tried it that way, but if I could have made the mix perfect the first round, then that would have been great. But I know that's asking for a lot, especially when you're trying to match it to a dye that's hair dye and match that with a synthetic clothing dye. That's kind of hard. So I am really proud of myself. Like this whole video is just like me patting myself on the back, <laughs> but I hope it was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I also have all of my other links down below, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and I would love to see you guys on there. But that's pretty much it for this video. I think I'm going to try doing more synthetic hair and like hair extension type content in the future. So definitely subscribe if you're into that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.